Happy weekend, folks. I have a box of Evolving Skies that I've been procrastinating on cracking open because uh, I wanted to take a chance to film it. Shout out to my, my friend Raul, who was able to get me this uh, at a really great price. Uh, someone, someone else transported it to me uh, manually, so it's the box is kind of in rough shape, but... Uh, you know, most important thing is enjoying some great cards. So this this is going to be one of those sets that people are going to want to do um, really intense box breaks of in the future. Oh, it looks like the pack's kind of shifted. Um, just what what a phenomenal phenomenal set! You got dragons, you've got evolutions, you've got ultra beasts. I I think ultra beasts are going to have a chance standing the test time. I'm not going to do the, the cool uh, stream thing with opening the pack in like a different order to make things more exciting. Uh, I'm, I'm just not that sad. We're, we're going to just kind of go through as we... Oh, okay, so Gorlurk V? Uh, he's not setting the metagame on fire. Happy to have him, but uh, could could have been a, a stronger pull. Scroll of the Fang Dragon... Um, it does, it does help Golurk that he's a single strike Pokemon, but, uh, I, I don't think it's going to be able to fire. So let's, let's kind of set up the pile here. So we got our Vs, we got our reverse, and we got, everybody else can kind of sit off camera. Okay. So what, kind of, kind of wondering, you know, what are you hoping for when you are opening Evolving Skies packs? And the only answer is alt art evolutions, as far as I'm concerned. Okay, Hydreigon looks fantastic. Dragon Counter. Uh, each prize card your opponent took during the last turn. That's that's neat. Um, I don't know that we're going to see a ton of abilities like that. He, it really feels so. Hydreigon really feels like a card they printed for expanded. That if you you get your uh, Dialgapalkia knocked out, your your ADP uh, is KO'd. You're going to get. To do 300 for a uh, double dragon energy. Yeah, this is a uh, toy catcher. Uh, that's cute that you get to finish somebody off. But yeah, so not not loving this not loving this pack. Oh, Nuzzle, Nuzzle got relegated. Yeah, so I guess we should put foils and non foils into the sorry foils and uh, reverse foils in the same pile. So yeah, what what else are you looking for in evolving skies packs? Um, honestly, just high value cards. Yeah, so Spirit Mask makes me a, a little uncomfortable because it reminds me of Yamask without being uh, a story story or lore tied. Acidic mucus, yeah. Uh, honestly, acidic mu mucus is pretty good. Get it. Do a ton of damage based on how many abilities your opponent has out. Um, I I also like that acidic mucus kind of makes sense with uh, effects that bench your opponent's Pokemon either from their hand or from their discard pile. Okay, Talent Flame is not as good as and with with Double Rainbow or or, or Scramble or Counter Energy or something. It's cute, but like you're you're never you're never doing that. Yeah, so I you know I said Ultra Beast because I saw Duraludon. Duraludon, uh, I don't think he is an Ultra Beast. He just has the design sensibilities of one. Wow, Stadium to play this Pokemon can't attack. Um, wow. That's a uh, that's a price to pay for sure. Uh, he is not going to be a a deck, but I mean mo most Pokemon are not good enough. So I I've been pondering on something, and I'm gonna compile you know my my thoughts and and talk to some people I I trust. But I I, jo I frequently joke about base set broken. Kind of what is what does that look like? Um, Oh, Vice Coach is pretty good. I don't. I don't think that. Sorry, Vice Coach is pretty strong. I don't know if it's good, 
Like, I don't think it matters that you can ignore resistance in this with these Pokemon in this metagame. Um, but yeah, so I'm I was really looking forward to uh, kind of talking to some people about what seven cards uh, would you add to base set to make it a more compelling standalone format. Oh. So that's that's cute that the, the two different you just guys do different things. Um so I, I asked this question because I, I think it's a really interesting design and preference question. That you know, base set was a flawed format, but um why it was flawed is something I think people have healthy room for disagreement on. I think that there was not enough for your of all Pokemon to do that mattered. That when you kind of look at the so there was a kind of a balance, right? That um, if you look at Squirtle and Abra as two of the Pokemon most worth evolving in base set. Ooh, fluffy barrage. Yeah, that's that's pretty pretty cool for Jump Bluff. Um, that would be a really super duper cute deck. Oh, Stormy Mountains, that's the in play. Um, but yeah, like what you know, what can you kind of add to base set that doesn't you know, adding something that's broken is you know, oh, I change things, but um, Abra and ooh, Neuvern V. Boom burst twenty for each of your opponents. Twenty two each of your opponents Pokemon. Yeah, uh, that's if you're if you're just getting started, you know that's one of those attacks that's like really good. And then when you kind of build a better collection, it's not good anymore. Um, but yeah, sorry, back on track here. Abra and Squirtle only had forty hit points. Uh, Squirtle in particular had a bad weakness in, in lightning, and so getting hit with gust of wind and knocked out before you had a chance to evolve or getting hit with gust of wind and uh you know stranded at a stage one before you kind of do stuff that matters uh those are both pretty unfortunate um you know or you know even getting if you got a war turtle that's going to give a double edge like pretty pretty unfortunate really messes up your game plan and i you know, I, I bring this up because adding something to that format could be really, really cool in terms of just, um, I don't want to say rehabilitating because that, that's kind of dramatic, but in terms of making the format feel more like the game that we enjoy in a modern way, you know, where evolutions matter, uh, sequencing who you attack with matters, uh, you know, you're not, if you're, you know, one of the flaws of base set is that it's, uh, only, yeah, so one, one of the flaws of base set, honestly, is that the evolution text didn't just want to build one evolution, really, like, Blastoise wanted to build Gyarados or Dugong, depending on, you know, how, how willing you were to, to risk weakness on the lower guys and low hit points. Um, you also, oh, that's a good one. Uh, you also had Alakazam wanting to, uh, nah, Alakazam primarily wanted Chansey, but, um, you know, you wanted to play some energy to kind of diversify what you were doing so you could score a knockout as a way of eliminating a threat. Um, just from like a tactical standpoint, like it was a nice option to have, and so it w it was just so many spots in your deck, and there wasn't there was no shuffle draw, right? So like Professor Elm, uh, for the the original Professor Elm, where you can shuffle your hand in and do stuff. Oh, Sylveon V Rapid Strike, Dream Gift. Item put in your hand and your turn. Yeah, so um, Sylvian V is pretty cute in Expanded if you're going first. Kind of force your opponent to, to reset your hand to Barney or something. Um, 
but uh, you know, big boon that it's psychic, like, and you're gonna be able to get it out with Mysterious Treasure. But you know, I I don't even know if decks are playing Mysterious Treasure at this point. They expand that Ultra Ball, Quick Ball, Nest Ball. Uh, but yeah, so adding adding stuff to that base set format could have a lot of positive impact. Um, the problem is if you add too many cards that do the same thing, you you really only help a single deck become the new dominant deck. If you add cards that um, help too many different strategies, like is, is the format even still interesting, or does it just feel like a crapshoot? So, yeah, o overall, uh, I would be interested in having a little bit of shuffle draw. Like, th these are kind of my my knee-jerk reactions, having not thought about this problem a lot in the past 10 years. Um, but I could see adding more ways to shuffle your deck. Um, if I, I don't think you want to add anything with, like, the gimmick stuff, EX, GX. Like, if you added 7 GX Pokemon, I think there's an argument to be had that that could be good. Uh, but overall... Okay, so that... So, yeah, so I, I don't think Psychard's an Ultra Beast. Uh, but yeah, he goes in the foil pile. Uh, but yeah, so I think I think let's let's kind of say we don't want to add supporters as a mechanic unless we're adding multiple supporters. So I think Professor Elm would be a good addition because it gives you uh, it, it gives evolution decks something to do. Uh, it also kind of rewards playing the, the stage ones instead of the stage twos with the Pokemon Breeder. Uh, this is a neat way of, of communicating wishy-washy growing. Uh, yeah, I, I don't think I'd add stadiums. It's really, thinking about this problem makes you realize how much the game is added. I wouldn't add any tools. Oh, we, we hit something. Ta -da. Okay. Turlunov VMAX from, from your pulse. Wow. He is enormous and dragony. To oh, to this Pokemon, yeah, yeah, he's enormous and dragony, and I love that guy. Uh, but yeah, so I, I think um, some someone suggested my my Facebook status that I posted about this adding. Strike and run Dunsparce, and it's like, ooh, that, that feels like it could be even going too far. I really like Volcarona V. Uh, like, one one of the weaknesses that fire decks sometimes have is that you, you, you know, literally, I guess more than figuratively, run out of steam. That you're all, most of your fire energy in the discard, or so many of your fire energy in the discard, your deck can't really function anymore. But now that decks are so welder driven, and for especially for fire and literally every format, um, it's pretty pretty interesting to to see a guy who can just put all of the, the fires back in on a basic and do that enormous damage. Um, one of the only gimmicks that could make it in that in a base set format. Oh, nice story happens. I believe would be primes. Uh, so Magnezone Prime would work because Magneton is in base set. Gengar Prime would work because Haunter, but not Gengar, is in base set. And so in, in that way you'd be um, kind of giving a tool to decks that used evolutions, but you'd really want to make sure they were actually doing something with them. If you are going to add uh, a supporter, I think N or Rockets Admin um, is a supporter I would lean to because it's just too easy to otherwise um, really increase your, your own hand without kind of risking giving your opponent some kind of benefit. People never really got enormous hands back then, 
so I don't I don't think it's too big a concern as far as uh, oh yeah early game we're gonna really blow down somebody's hand so uh, I th I think you know celebrations kind of highlights like hey you could put Don Fan Prime Don Fan Prime reducing the damage he takes by twenty would act, feels like it would actually cause enormous problems for base set format. Um, his one energy attack is too good. His three energy attack is probably best in class. Um, it would he would be interesting because he would give both Alexam decks and Hitmonchan decks something extra to do. But there's no uh, there's no good no, no there's no good there's no Fampy in the set. So really to get to get the benefit of that card, even though it's two benefits have to add two cards out of your out of the seven the, the arbitrary seven constraint they put out here um i think another thing that might be interesting Ooh, yeah falls from this pokemon yeah so I, you're, you're pretty much only getting glaceon Vmax there oh man guys we're, we only got a few packs left and things are not looking optimistic so let's let's kind of burn through these real quick i would really personally just love to get the full the, like the alternate art dragonite the dragonite is my favorite pokemon it's a stunning card it's relevant and expanded really just checks a lot of the boxes for me flapple uh, yeah but i think between evolutions and dragon types this set is gonna have a lot of long-term value oh, four guys is looking good yeah i might i might kind of do a, a more thoughtful analysis of actual polls and legendaries and stuff that victini's kind of only one coming out of me okay yeah wow that's not a great pack either at least I've, i'm gonna have my my dynamo motor uh Dynamoto guys, I'm not gonna have to get them off TCG player. Okay, last pack. No, I'm not. I don't think so. Gentle slap. I uh, actually, while we're talking about it, I really like this foil pattern here. Um, I don't know that we're gonna see a ton of it. So, if you're somebody who collects a lot of different versions of a Pokemon, make sure you pick the reverse foils from this set. You're not going to get anything that's similar to this in other sets. No. Yep, okay. Uh, the only thing I'm intimidated by is how bad this pack is with Stoutly and... Okay, well, you know, thanks Thanks for tuning in. Uh, overall, I don't think I hit what I was really hoping to here. Uh, I got... I, I haven't paid enough attention to the, the, the pull ratios. This does not feel like a great box, folks. But you saw it here first. Oh, and I, ha I had Presser out for good luck. I didn't say that. Probably should have. Probably would work better if I did that. Uh, but yeah, he he's he, he's in my hands as a result of some good eBay luck. Was hoping the box was going to follow suit, but it hasn't. I have some more Evolving Skies that I'm probably going to open. Uh, I just don't know when. So let me know in the comments. Do you think this is a good box? Are you glad that you did not open this box? Um, yeah, take care. Bye.